I bet you any money no one, no one has read Dead North. Hello, welcome to Sound and Fury Book Reviews. As usual, I am Tina. Why am I wearing this Christmas sweater? It's the best Christmas sweater you've ever seen. When it's not even close to Christmas? It's because I'm taking part in the Reindeer Readathon this year. <laughs> Check out Eric at Breakeven Books information video if you want to know more. I've included the link below. But it's a readathon with four teams. I'm on Team Mistletoe. Uh, and you get points for books that you read. So there are many, many prompts, and I am not going to get through them all. <laughs> but I figured I'd go through a books I plan to read. A lot of these are, are like books that I've been hovering on my TBR for two years or something. So this is like a cleanup almost. So I have a fresh start in 2022. One of these questions is a pick one of three. So my dog, Ruger, is going to pick the book for me. If you came to this video to see my handsome boy, I made a timestamp below for you to jump to that if you don't want to hear me talk. But uh, that's at the end if you if you want to wait for it. So <laughs> here we go. First, I'm going to go through everything else. So the first pr prompt is Dasher. So this is short stories or a novella. And there's 10 points for this. And I have Spirits of the Season, Christmas Hauntings. My sister gave this to me at random uh, last year for Christmas um, because because she says it's fun to give people books they're not expecting, and I totally agree. So there's a lot of stories here from different time periods. So like 1867, um, you know, 19, 1913, 1940, I think is the latest. So it's kind of interesting. I'm, I'm very curious about this. Now, if I don't, I'm going to kind of put this as one of the last things I'm going to read. So if I want to squeeze in another one, and I don't think I'm going to get through this whole thing, I'm going to read this novella called The Pellicid Witch, which also counts as an ebook. book uh, ebook points if I don't get to my other ebook. <laughs> so the next prompt is da Dancer, which is a favorite author. So I'm going to pick Alan Dean Foster because he's one of my favorite authors. And I've got the Pip and Flink's Sliding Scales book. So this is like book nine or something. I'm reading it out of order because I'm reading the ones that actually sound interesting to me. And this one has these cool aliens that I'm really interested in. I don't know why the store put the sticker over his face, but I mean, at least it's not on, you know, Pip's face because Pip is so cute. Little, little dragon. Uh, the next one is Prancer, and this is a travel book. So I picked this ridiculous book that I bought at a yard sale for like ten dollars. It's called Dead North by Sue Henry. Look at that! Look at that dog. What's it doing? It does not want to be on this travel. Anyway, so this is you can take a trip into the beautiful wilds of Alaska, Alaska with this book. So I'm like, this is definitely a travel book. So yeah, we'll see how how that goes. <laughs> The next one is uh, Vixen. So this is a book that recently caught my eye and this is going to be an ebook and it's going to be Lotus Blue, which is another post-apocalyptic story. So uh, that one I'm probably going to read probably one of the first ones because it also gets me to ebook points. So the next one is Comet and this is a five star prediction. So this one is probably going to be the one I don't get to. So I have these kind of ranked in order. They're, they're just in the order they came in right now. But in my head, I have them ranked in order of what I'm actually going to get to. And what I have for this one is Azura Ghost, which is part two to um, No Fit Gloss, <laughs> Brain brain Here by Essa Hansen. And I was lucky enough to get an e arc mainly because I, I think because i begged the, the author on Twitter if I could have one. So uh, that's not due, like my review to them isn't due until like the end of January. So that one is like, a, if I get to it, I'll get to it. But definitely a five star prediction. The next one is Cupid. And this is a new author that I've never read before. And I have got this book, American War by Omar El Akkad. Whoops, sorry. So my father-in-law, he uh, he bought this for me for my birthday. And I have not read it yet. I feel bad. My birthday's in July. So I, I put it on this list to hopefully get to it. And I've never read this author before. And he's Canadian. So like me. Uh, the next one is Donner. This is a red or green book. Now I picked a Hollow Kingdom. I don't have it with me because I just ordered it from the library. But the picture online has a green cover. So if it doesn't come in a green cover, I'm going to have to pick something else, something red instead, I guess. But uh, that's my, my goal for that. And that's also post-apocalyptic. Apparently, I'm just ramping up the post-apocalyptic stuff. This is this also might be subconsciously because um, I've been posting my post-apocalyptic book reviews on postapocalyptic.com uh, because I'm a writer there. And uh, so I think I just I need to make sure I have enough books for like every couple weeks to post one. <laughs> and I like post-apocalyptic stuff. 
obviously, given my little babies over here. Uh, the next one is Blitzen. So this is the three book pick one. I'm going to jump jump to the next one and then come back to that. So the other one is Rudolph, and this is a standalone book. And what I have is our mysterious spaceship moon. If you follow my channel, like, religiously, which... I mean, why wouldn't you? It's so it's so well put together. Uh, I did a book haul back in August or July, and this was one of them. And this is a book that is a nonfiction claiming that the moon is a spaceship. So I have been intrigued by this since I got it. And so this is going to be my standalone. It's all very tiny, so it's kind of an excuse to read a short one. Uh, and then I can talk about this book because I'm sure there's going to be a lot to talk about. And then I have, so the three that I'm gonna get my dog to pick between, because for Blitzen, which is three books, pick one, is I've got Toby Frost's End of Empires. So this is Space Captain Smith number four or five. I don't know, I have the whole collection up there. So Space Captain Smith is this like silly British farce novel about this guy named Space Captain Smith and he goes around having adventures in space with his alien friends and it's, it's quite funny and I, I'm very into it. And then I also got this really beautiful Journey to the Center by Brian Stableford, which is like this gorgeous, oh my God, why is my camera in the dumb spot? It's like this gorgeous sci-fi from like, I think this from like the 70s or something like that. And then I've got another one. This one's Arthur Verslewis, Verslewis which is called Telos, which is another post-apocalyptic theme book. So apparently there is a theme here. It's uh, yeah, anyway. Yeah, so those are the books that I'm going to be reading. And uh, have you read any of these? I bet you any money, no one, no one has read Dead North. If you have, uh, don't spoil it for me because I'm actually really interested in this because I love, I love stories about Alaska. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm, I'm going to jump now to Ruger. He's going to pick between those three other books for me. And uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Denny, Denny. Come here, old man. Come here, Didi. Didi, come here. Denny. He's so deaf. Denny, come here, Didi. Come here. Come on. Okay, you pick one. <laughs> He's so silly. Pick one. Turn around. What's that? Turn around. Turn around. What's that? What's that? What's that? Let's see what he does. Turn around. Right, right there. Pick one, Daddy. Oh, pick Telos. Pick one, Ruger. Ruger, pick one, right there. Why do you dogs not, can't tell it? Which one do you want? Oh, he doesn't know. Oh, the middle one. Okay, Marcy, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Pick between these two books. Um. Which one, that one? Journey to the Center. Why do you like that one so much? Because it's spooky. Ooh, okay. 